Bonjour. What's up, everyone? This is QuickBooks for non-QuickBooks people. You've got QuickBooks problems, and I've got your solutions. Today's lesson is part of the basic series, How to Write a Check. Remember, I designed these videos so that you can follow along to my voice, and you don't actually have to watch the video. So go ahead and open your version of QuickBooks, and let's get started. So we want to write a check, and the fastest way to do that is by hitting Control and then W, which will open up our Write Checks window. I always like to use the keyboard shortcuts wherever possible, or whenever possible, because it allows you to get really fast as you move through the program, and you don't have to switch between keyboard and mouse. So I'll try to teach you those as we go forward. The next thing I, I like to do is um, maximize my window, and I do this because I want to use all of my screen space here, and I want to be able to see everything clearly as I'm working. So go ahead and maximize your window. And, okay, the first thing you'll notice is that the QuickBooks cursor, or the program, places the cursor in the bank account field at the top left. My bank account is already chosen for me, and usually QuickBooks will say, okay, which bank account were you working with last? Let's use that one again. If you want to change it, just start typing. So I could write a check for my savings account here, Chase Savings. Or, if you have account numbers set up like I do, you can use your account number and that will pull, pull up your bank accounts as well. QuickBooks will only let you write a check from a bank account. You cannot write a check from any other type of account in QuickBooks. So if you don't have a bank account set up, you'll need to do that. Okay, so I want to write from my Chase checking account and I'm going to use Tab to move be between fields. Tab is going to take me to the check number and uh, if I hit it one too many times, I can use Shift Tab to go backwards. So Tab goes to the right and down, and Shift Tab will move the cursor up and to the left. It's a real good trick for moving fast between between fields. So check, verify that your check number is correct on the check that you are going to handwrite, and in my case it is. It's 1003 or 1003, and uh, hit Tab to move to the date. Now, depending upon your preferences, the date will either be today's date or the date that you were last working with. And uh, I've got another video about checking preferences, which I'll link in the description below if you want to explore that. But for now, my date is correct. If you had a, a date that wasn't today's date, say I've, I've got this other date in here now, you can press T and T will automatically take you to today. So T is the shortcut for today. I'm going to hit tab to move to the pay to the order of field and I'm going to write this check to Gary's Landscaping. Um, if you don't have the vendor set up, see my other video about setting up vendors, but for now let's just do a quick add so we can move through this video. I, I owe Gary's Landscaping 136 bucks, so I'm going to enter that in in the dollar amount field. Hit tab again my cursor is going to drop down here to the address, which I don't need to make any changes, so I'm going to hit tab. Then my cursor is going to go to the memo field on the check. Typically, I usually leave this blank. Um, sometimes you can put in your account number if you wanted to, um, or you could write a, a small memo, but this is not for you. This memo line is for the recipient of the check. This is not for you as a user of QuickBooks and an owner of your business. So hit tab again, and we're going to drop down to the expenses panel here uh, on the bottom of the screen. You'll notice there are two tabs. We have an expenses tab, and then we have an items tab. And for most people, we're just going to stick with the expenses tab. And for the purpose of this video, you just want to write a check, get it done with. Expenses tab is what you want. Um, you'll notice that an account here has already been pre-populated because I've written a check already to Gary's Landscaping. So QuickBooks remembers which account I wanted to to uh, to expense this this uh, check to. But if you don't have an account in here, you can just start typing. So if you, for me it's repairs and maintenance, I can just start typing repairs. Or if I have account numbers, I can just start typing that account number. Just like above on the bank account field. So I'm going to hit tab to move through the fields here. The amount column is correct. That's from the check amount above. 
and then I'm going to hit tab and move to the memo column. And the memo column is really important. It's always best to write a memo just to help your memory because in two years from now or five years from now you're not going to know exactly what this transaction was especially if you have a lot of transactions to Gary's landscaping. It's a um, way to way to prevent a large problem in the future by solving a, a smaller problem now. So always get in the habit of writing a memo and this is going to be for um, February landscaping at the main office. That's all I'm going to write. Don't write a book, just something that will trigger a, a memory. Um, hit tab, move through the customer and the class field. We don't need to put anything in there. I've got a link in the description for um, those videos as well. Uh, hit tab again and you're done. Control enter is the shortcut key for um, save and enter. So go ahead and hit control enter. And if you get a pop-up box here telling you that items have not been assigned classes, that's okay. Hit save anyway or just hit enter. You'll hear the beep from QuickBooks, which means that your entry has been recorded and you're done. Hit like if you thought this video was useful. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Leave a comment in the comments section below or send your questions to me with the comments or uh, to my email address and I'll do my best to make a video about them. That's it for today. See you later.